Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Solana using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have, including a way to save 25% on your pool mining fees. And before we dive into the video, I do want to make sure to ask you to please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. And if you're looking to further support the channel, we do have those channel memberships as well, which any support is greatly appreciated. So before we dive in to the tutorial, I want to start off here on CoinMarketCap as I like to take a quick look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, crypto's down still just a little bit, uh, just over 1% today. Total market cap is at $3.28 trillion. Um, and looking at the week chart, we are seeing a lot of red. Um, now, of course, Bitcoin dropped quite a bit in the last 24 hours, but has rebounded. So earlier today, uh, you know, 8, 10 hours ago, Bitcoin was 90000 or less, uh, you know, of course, depending on the source you looked at. So seeing it back up around that 95000 level, while it is still down uh, today, as well as almost 7% on the week, it's still nice to see it recovered a little bit. Uh, kind of the outlier here in the top 10 being XRP, which is up about 6% the last week, uh, which is really nice to see. Now, of course, Solana, the coin we're talking about today, uh, currently priced at $183, uh, down almost 16% this week. Now, you might be thinking, is this the right time to start collecting, mining, earning this coin? And I would say yes. We are still early on in the bull run. And if you look at the all-time high here, uh, if we switch to the all-time chart, you can see that just a few weeks ago, it was $256, which is only about $8 higher than its previous all-time high in 2021. So a lot of people think that Solana has a lot of room to grow, me being one of those people, mainly because of all the coins that are built on the Solana network. Almost every time I come on a uh, coin market cap here, everything trending on DexScan is a Solana based token, at least in the top five. So with that being said, all of these fees are being used you know, by Solana, uh, it's on the Solana chain, and I think that's a really good thing for the main coin, of course, being Solana. So how do you go about mining this coin? Because this is not a traditionally mineable coin. So I wanna start off by saying we are using a site called Unminable. The link is down below. I highly recommend you use that because it will save you 25% on your mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But overall, Solana, not a mineable coin. The way that you can actually mine this coin using Unminable is by picking an algorithm that's profitable for your hardware and mining the coin that is most profitable on that algorithm. So for example here, they have Zealous Hash as an algorithm choice, of course, mining ZEL Zealous Coin. Uh, they also have Fish Hash, mining Iron Fish Coin, uh, and so on. You know, they've got a ton of different options here. So while we are mining a different coin, we are getting paid out in Solana. The reason you might want to do it this way is if you're in an area where all of your trades are taxable events, this is a great way to mine a profitable coin and get paid out in a coin that you're actually interested in. You know, maybe you, you know, are making a lot of money on Zealous Hash, but you don't really want the Zealous coin. You'd rather have Solana. That's where Unminable comes in. So what you're going to do, again, links in the description or go ahead and navigate to unminable.com. Select to get started with our wizard. They've got a basic and an advanced option. I always personally recommend the basic as that's good enough for 99% of people mining. Now, here's where you choose the path that you want to go down. I'm going to be going the GPU mining route, uh, as I think most people will be going that way. But if you are following along with a CPU-based Windows computer or you're looking to mine on a Mac OS-based computer, uh, either Intel or the M platform from Apple, choose that CPU option. And I do have a full tutorial on how to mine on Mac here on the channel. 
Here's where you choose the algorithm that's best for your hardware. I'm going to be going with Kapow, but again, go out to whattomine.com, check out your specific hardware, and figure out what's best to mine to maximize your profits. And here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in. Now, of course, we're going to be going with Solana, but they do have almost 90 different coins here on the site, so feel free to choose what you're most interested in. Go ahead and enter in your Solana address, and I do like to take a second to just say please double and triple check this address because if it is incorrect, this will still work, and there will be no errors to kind of warn you about uh, the address until you go to get paid, and then you simply just won't get the funds. So before you start mining, double check, triple check this address, make sure everything got pasted in correctly. And the final step before downloading and getting started with the miner is the referral code. Now, if you use the link down below, you'll notice my Bitcoin tips code auto populated. If you didn't use the link and still want to get that 25% discount code, go ahead and enter in this code that you see on screen, which is Bitcoin dash tips with a capital B and a capital T. So here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool fee uh, for when you're mining. So basically, if you mine 100 Solana coins, you'll probably be pretty happy, but you're going to give one of those coins to Unminable. doesn't matter if you do that in a day or in a year. It doesn't matter if uh, Solana's uh, you know, a dollar a coin or $1,000 a coin. You're always going to pay that one coin fee. So by using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that you would have otherwise paid to Unminable. So feel free to use that or go ahead and continue without it. And the final step here is to download the miner files and get started. Now, I personally always recommend Gminer as it's the one that I personally use and it supports both major GPU manufacturers. So if you ever upgrade your PC down the line, you'll most likely not run into any issues and this file will continue working. So what you're going to do is go ahead and select download minor files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you don't do the extraction step, you will get an error right away when you start the file. So if that's something that's happening uh, when you're trying this, make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. Once you do that, come back over to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. As you can see here, this has popped up and said, hey, it looks like this is not a verified file. You're going to have to select this warning and say download unverified file. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, go ahead and select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. Um, this is not really just an unminable thing. It's more of a crypto mining thing. So if you're not comfortable doing this, uh, I would recommend checking out faucets, cloud mining, other ways of earning cryptocurrency. Once you do that, go ahead and drag and drop that file into the folder with all of the other files that you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have my unminable Solana Kapow gminer.bat. And all you have to do here is double click this file to get started. Now I've ran this file before, but when you run it the first time, you will get another pop-up saying, hey, you know, Windows Dep Defender has protected your PC. Um, on that pop-up, you will have to say more info and then run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable doing that, simply select don't run, delete the files, and look for another way to earn cryptocurrency. But just like that, we are about eight and a half minutes into this video, and that included a little bit of uh, coin market cap um, and just discussion about crypto. And we are up in mining using my RTX 3070 here with Unminable. So it's really that simple to get up and running. Now, just a few final things that I like to mention here about mining with Unminable. When you start the miner, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for your stats and payments to start showing up on the website. That's completely normal, but if you don't see any stats after about an hour, I would double check and make sure that your addresses got pasted in correctly, both in the file and on the website. And make sure that this window here in CMD doesn't have any red text, errors, things like that. Um, that could be a you know indicator that something's not running right. And on the other end, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find the CMD window and hit that red X. Once that CMD window is closed, you are no longer mining. Now you may be wondering, why am I telling you how to close out a window? 
Well, when you stop the miner after it's been running for a little while, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments on the website. And I've seen the question of, hey, you know, I stopped this miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? You can rest assured that once that is closed, you are no longer mining. This is just kind of part of the unminable mining experience. I can personally say that at one point I was mining, turned off the computer, unplugged it from the wall, and you know it, it was not on. There was no way for it to be on, and I was still getting payments 12 hours later. So I wouldn't be too upset about it. You're still getting uh, that payment, and you're not even having to technically mine, but I do like to mention that here. So, it is really that simple to get started mining. Again, the link is down below with that referral code to save 25%. And if you do run into any issues throughout this entire process, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you haven't already, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.